Hello YouTube, this is quick fix for my uh, pick up and carry objects tutorial. Um, many of you um, ask me, like, my cube goes through walls and through the floor. Um, how do I stop that? How do I make it collide with other objects? And uh, somebody even noticed that you could drop it through the floor and then it's gone. And that's not very neat. And um, somebody said uh, in the comments that the problem is um, that I say P game object rigid body is kinematic. Um, is kinematic kind of disables the gravity, but also disables the collision with uh, other objects. So this is really the problem, and we should instead um, use rigid body, use gravity. Uh, so all I do is go in my pickup object script, which is attached to my first person controller right here, and I look for the pickup function. When I try to pick up the object, I set the rigid body to is kinematic true so far. And what we do now instead is p.gameObject rigid body as well, use gravity to false. And then similarly, when we drop the object, we're going to turn the gravity back on. So carry object of game object rigid body use gravity true. We don't use the line above anymore, which sets a rigid body dot is kinematic to false. So what we have now is um, already a fix for the uh, collision. Now we get a proper collision with the walls. Only thing is like. Um, we can make our object turn and it kind of, yeah, we don't want that. So we want to have it nice and steady and stable like before. So all we need to do is to go in our carry function, which is called like every frame. Uh, if we're carrying the object, we call our carry function. Um, so here in the parameters, we get game object O, which is our carried object. So all I want to do is o.transform.rotation and set it to quaternion.identity to stop it from rotating. And this basically uh, is all we got to do to pick up our object, have it nice and stable, not turning, but also collide with other objects. And now we can't drop it through the floor anymore, which is nice. And that's it. Goodbye.